Hey there, hi there, hello there, all that good stuff. How are we doing? It's um, getting tired of being at home. <laughs> um, I'm happy to have you in my course. This is Cindy Roberts. Call me Cindy. Cindy, that's it. Miss Cindy, whatever you want to call me. Um, this course is online. This is BioCal, in case you think you clicked on the wrong thing because, you know, you're probably just watching the cartoon behind me. We probably should just turn that off, right? Yeah. We don't need no cartoons because this class is going to be funny enough, right? Yeah, all right. Okay, so let's just have a look around. This is your welcome video to welcome you to BioCal Fall 2020, the year that Everybody went crazy. <laughs> so the first thing I would do is, you know, teachers tell you to read the syllabus, read the syllabus, read the syllabus. What, do, do you even ever read the syllabus? You should read the syllabus. Um, pretty much the calendar is going to have the majority of the stuff that you need. This is a an, an, an asynchronous, I am a math major, not an English major, which means you can watch the videos anytime you want. They do have due dates, okay, so I'll talk about that as well. But there's not a certain time that you have to meet for our class, except whatever you decide with your groups, okay? Now, I'm, I do hold office hours, and I welcome you. I don't know if you want to call them office hours. Hey, Cindy, can you work this problem for me? Every Tuesday, Thursday at noon, um, I'm pretty much online during the day, Monday through Friday. So if you're working on something and you want to message me, feel free and I can meet you in Zoom, you know, at that time. But these are just, I will be sitting there waiting for you. The course syllabus, probably many of you saw it already in Blue Book. Not a lot really to it except the breakdown of the points in the course. Um, this course, we don't have an official textbook. We use an open source textbook. And what that means for you is it's free. So that's the good part. Um, there's me, Cynthia. They, why they got to put Cynthia? It's Cindy. Cindy. All right. And in fact, in here you can click on these, but you'll see them in the classroom as well. You can link to Zoom. There's my UTSA email. There's some important dates. Typical grading scale. I don't do plus or minuses. Everything you're going to learn in the course. Um, it's funny because I've taught this course for quite a few years and students start out, why do I have to take, and then they're like, wow, I had no idea there was so much calculus in biology. So, um, I mean, we're in a pandemic, that's biology and that's calculus, so you'll, you'll see that too. All right, so prerequisite, hopefully you had pre-cal, not horribly too long ago. Uh, reference books, this is the open stack, some like a physical book. Um, it's, it's, most students just use my notes. I'll tell you that right now. Okay. So I'm throwing it out there, but that is at least some calculus reference stuff. It's not a biology calculus book, but some calculus reference. Um, most students use the TI-30X calculator because that's just what they have from other courses. Um, you can pretty much use what you have, right? Because you're at home. Um, even if you need to use, if you don't even have a calculator, you could probably just Google an online calculator, you know, to use during the test. That's fine with me. Uh, just be sure that it, you can do um, logs, exponential, and trig functions. Um, in this course, it is highly group oriented. And I know you're rolling your eyes. However, I, I have, did I tell you I've taught this course for a long time? I have students that are still buddies that were group mates like seven, seven, eight years ago. Um, so because you're all the same biology majors, and I would say 99% of you, I get one oddball every once in a while, you're probably going to be taking a lot of the same classes together. So it's good to, you know, one, to learn how to work together because that seems to be a big issue with, you know, so many of you hiding behind your phones, you know, but um, there is a lot of group work in here. So what you will end up doing, and I'll talk about that in a minute, is you guys will decide when you want to meet. You can meet at two o'clock in the morning. I don't care because you're, you're going to record when you actually meet. So there is group work. There is homework. It's in web work. If you came from Math Matters or from Pre-Cal, you probably have used this before. Uh, what's so great about it? It's free. Free, free, free. We like free. So that, that's pretty cool. 
Uh, classwork, this is every once in a while I'll make you um, handwrite your notes and, and upload those. And the reason why I do that is if you just sit and stare at me, right? It's kind of boring, all right? I don't, I don't know. I don't think I'm boring, but you might think it's boring. So it's one of these that they always say, if you see it, you hear it, you write it, you got it. So you're going to have to write. You're going to have to take some notes. So that's that's that 20%. 60% of your exams, woohoo, we love to take tests. And these will be in Blackboard, you know, so you'll, you'll see, you'll click on links to take tests. Um, and I, what I, what I will do on the test is I made them do, and you'll see here on the schedule in a minute, they're going to be due on Mondays because I don't want you to ruin your weekends. I don't have anything due on weekends. I know a lot of teachers make things due on Sundays. Why don't you procrastinate? So why should I ruin your Sunday? Let me ruin your Monday. Um, what I'll end up doing is I'll have the test open Sunday morning and then it closes Monday midnight. So if you want to take it Sunday, you can, but you don't have to take it till Monday. Once you click on it, though, the timer is going. So you have to be careful and not say, oh, well, I'm going to look at it on Sunday and then finish it on Monday. No, nope, you got to take it all at once. Um, at the end of the semester, each group will pr uh, present a project and that'll probably be in the recorded area that I've talked about. And here is kind of the breakdown of all the good topics that we're going to do. And then you can read through all the wonderful stuff there. All right. So the course calendar, before I click on this and you have a heart attack, as it says, many of these items are just watching my lecture. OK, so it's going to look like, wow, you have a lot of assignments, Cindy. And I do have a lot of assignments, but you need to realize they're not like each assignment's two hours long. It might be a five-minute video, a 10-minute video. And so um, what I probably would do, and I know some of you may not have, you know, printers available, is I would at least have this open, you know, while I'm working on things and save it and check things off as you get things done. All right, so once you get into content, you won't see all of these because they're based on when they're going to open um, the Sunday before that week for that start. But what this is, is the same thing as I was showing you the link for this Excel um, schedule. So I, I created a column here where you could have this open and just go in and put X's or whatever, you know, as you check things off. But it helps you see like this is the welcome video. I'm watching it right now. I can check it off. But the big thing is it helps you to see the due date. So like I mentioned, hopefully there's no mistakes in the dates because I did catch one. Um, as I mentioned, I'm not making anything due on the weekends. You can do stuff on the weekends, but I'm not making things due on the weekend. So pretty much, you know, as you'll see when you go through here and you're like, holy cow, look at all these assignments. But anything that says these lectures, that's just watching the actual lecture. Um, so this first week, you're watching this video. Um, you're going to go do your introduction, which I'll show you the discussions. Then you'll go watch the two review uh, material videos, lecture one and lecture two. And then finally, um, you'll do the web work over the review and then your group work. All right, so let's let's look in here. So each week when you click on this, everything that's listed here and what I just said is going to show up step by step and in the order I would suggest doing it in. So let me open a new tab here. And I just all I did was click on the discussion. So I'll move, I'll move, move that over there. Mm -hmm. and, and let me mention I'm doing this for all my sections. So if you're in a different section number, that doesn't matter. So you saw me click here, which I'm going to open that tab here in a second, but you can also um, the discussions, you can get to them straight from here. So it's, you know, whatever's easiest for you. Waiting, 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 waiting. So that's still trying to load. Um, and then you're going to see each of the lectures are like this welcome video where it asks you questions throughout. It's called Play Pause It. I hadn't mentioned that yet. And so you answer questions, which means you got to pay attention. Um, I started using it in the 
summer. I didn't use it in the spring, and students loved it um, because it makes you pay attention. Are you paying attention? All right, so you either click this discussion one introduction or click the discussion here. It'll take you straight into this discussion. And so you won't see this unless you click discussion. You'll actually be in this discussion. Now, here is important you get in here right away. Uh, when is this due? I don't know, Cindy. When is it due? Let's make this a little bigger for your blind teacher. Is It is, hello, it is due Wednesday, the 26th. The reason that I want you to get this done very quickly is this is going to be how I put you into groups, okay? Uh, the big key here is tell me what your major and concentration is because I like to put all the environmental science students together, pre-med. It may not happen that way, but that way I know you guys are going to know each other and see each other in a bunch of different classes, okay? So answer all that. Um, I always find it funny because you guys hate to respond to discussions. I mean, I see you talk about it in the UTSA mobile app and social media. Why is she making me respond? I don't even know these people. Um, your main communication needs to be with your group. So I'm not requiring you to do no awkward responding. I think it would be cool to come in here, you know, and, and see who's all in your class and all that good stuff. Um, and, and yeah, so all that. All right, so then the next thing just going down here is I did my, inter I watched this welcome video, I did my introduction. Now I went through these videos here and then you will go into web work. Now I will mention because if you're watching this, I'm gonna say today, but you have no idea what today is. Well, I guess you can see it probably down there, right? August 14th, but this class is going to open up um, on the 20th. If you got in the class later, then you may not have web work yet. You need to send me an email. Okay, so in here you'll see the actual um, homeworks, and I, I haven't even set the due dates yet, so you won't see any of that now. But then you go through the problems that are unlimited. Um, you ask me for help and all that kind of good stuff. So there's the, the homework stuff. All right, so now the next thing is on the group work. So this, this is a very highly motivated group work class, and I know... As I mentioned, you're rolling your, oh, God, I hate working with people. You've got to learn to work with people. Um, this course just seems to work great. It, and I guess it's because you guys are all the same majors. You know, I don't know. This just seems to work wonderful in this course. So you're going to see, going back and looking at the schedule, you're going to see lots of group works pretty much every week. Some week your group work is you're just going to work with your group. If you could call it a study group. Um, you're just going to work on the test review. This week, all I want you to do is, one, figure out where your group is. Okay, so that says over here where it says office hour and group area. Again, we could call it study area, whatever you want to call it. And then the big thing is to figure out which group you're in. The only way I can put you in a group, because remember I said I'd like to put you guys um, same concentrations and such, is you have to get this introduction in. So as I start to see you guys posting these, then what you will do is you will click on this office hour and group area. And again, um, load here. Oops, where, where'd you go? I'll let that load here in a second. Um, the, the only way if you don't put your, your introduction, I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> If you don't put in your introduction, then what's going to happen is I don't, I don't know what group to put you in. So basically, I say on one of these things here that I just put you in the loser group. <laughs> so please get your this in. The quicker you get it in, the quicker when you get in here, you're going to see your name. Okay, so if you haven't done that yet, all you're going to see now is when you go into the Blackboard Collaborate, and it says all this back here. So back here, office hour, and then, uh-oh, leave it to UTSA, and then Blackboard Collaborate, and then once you get into Blackboard Collaborate, you will see like group one and then your name. 
Okay, and then comma the rest of the people in, in your group's group's name. That's still trying to load. And so it's important that you get in here right away, right? Because you have an assignment that is due um, on Monday. So if you get in here Wednesday and I get you in your group by Thursday, then you got plenty of time. Now the the big problem, would you stop it? The big problem is going to be, close some of this other stuff, is how do you know when you're going to meet the first time? Like I told you before, I don't care when you meet. That's just taking forever to load. I don't care when you meet. All I care is that you, you meet, and then you're going to see that you are going to record, and this tells you the steps on how to record your meet, your meet up, and that way I would just stop it. That way I know that you at who actually met up. So that's how I'm going to be grading. I'm going to go watch those recordings. Okay. So if you have any questions on any of this, since that's not loading, not a big deal. Um, let me know. Um, I did, that's, that's a lot of stuff, right? So I just want to get you, oh my God, everything that I have to do in this course, this Excel document, this is the key to this course of being successful. Okay, so once I get you kind of up and going, I communicate with you a lot. In fact, you will get sick of my communications. Um, I do realize many of you guys, and let's go, let's go back here. Let's see if I can get this to reload. Pause, please. And we're, we're back. <laughs> All right, so the big thing, because I didn't really want this to be a 20-minute video, but it is, whatever. It is what it is, is how do you get in touch with me? Okay, so you saw in the syllabus that it had uh, the Meet Me in Zoom with any questions. That's probably, if you want to ask me face-to-face, -face, Tuesday, Thursday, it's 12 noon, right there. I am big time available. That's what students always say. She is, she, you can get in touch with her. Um, you can email me. You can snap. I have many students on Snapchat, Instagram, many students, Facebook, uh, Matt Students Gone Wild. This is actually a cool group because it's former, current students that will ask each other questions about who, who not to take for, you know, chemistry or, you know, all that, that old chem class y'all have to take. TikTok, hey, yeah, got, got me, got me a TikTok, you know. Um, this class also is going to have a group me, and I say this class, all my sections. I really prefer any questions that you ask, like on homework or whatever, ask them through group me, because then that way all the students can see it. Um, I do realize a lot of, you know, students don't like group me. There's your list. However you want to get in touch with me, I give you lots of different ways. Um, I do realize at the very beginning you're not really sure what's going on, you know, that kind of stuff. Take it day by day, week by week, but be in contact with me, and you'll be fine. All right, see you guys online. Cannot wait to meet you.